So in this video, you're going to be recapping and looking at the features of an explanation text. And lucky you, you already looked at this last week with Kate. But last week's explanation text was all about volcanoes and this week's explanation text is all about plants. So make sure you're listening. And after this video, I would like you to go to the dream text and see if you can spot any of these features. So let's get started with the first feature. Every good explanation text needs a title because the reader needs to know what your explanation text is about. Your explanation text needs paragraphs, colons, to introduce a list. So when you are introducing a list, you can use bullet points to help you really clearly lay out your list. And you can see this in the example in the dream text because in the beginning I've done, this text will explain the three main life processes in plants. These are colon, plant life cycles, plant reproduction, plant classification. This really helps the reader to clearly see what your explanation text is going to be all about. Brackets are really important in explanation text because it's a way of adding extra information. Subheadings. This is a really good way for the reader to get exactly to the paragraph that they want to learn about. So for example, in this explanation text we're going to be doing this week, if your reader wants to learn just about plant classification and already knows enough about plant life cycles and plant reproduction, a subheading means they can really easily go straight to the bottom and see the paragraph that is clearly labelled plant classification. So make sure you are using subheadings. Present tense. Our explanation texts are going to be in present tense because this stuff is happening all the time and it's happening right now. Third person. Technical vocabulary. This is really important, especially in a science explanation text because you need to have all the correct words to explain what you're talking about. So for example, uh, some of the words from plant life cycles is the word pollination, the word dispersed, um, and these words are going to be really important for your reader. It's going to be diagrams. Either draw them yourself or you can get pictures, like I did, from Google to put into your explanation text. And these next two features are going to be an extra challenge. So the first extra challenge is going to be passive voice, which you learned a lot about last week in grammar. So if you're still not quite sure what passive voice is, make sure you go to last week's grammar slide. Three at the very bottom and the final extra bonus feature is using relative clauses so I know there seems to be a lot of features there but I know that all of you definitely know how to use most of those features okay so when you're writing this week make sure you're including all these features and have this constantly in your mind I will take a picture of this and post it up so you can keep looking back at it